Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I said I'm doing today's video for a few days uh, only because I honestly couldn't really believe what I saw. So being an Arizona Cardinals fan, being a what I consider to be a diehard Cardinals fan, we have had almost 40 years of terrible teams that like give a couple for the Super Bowl run and the year that we went 13-3, and we went to the playoffs last year, but you can count on one hand how many times they've been a good team ever since they moved to the desert. And seeing the report card that came out from the, the NFLPA um, and the team getting an F, like not just an F, they got a bad F. I mean, they're the ranked, the ranked 31st out of 32 teams. And it just makes, as a fan, it makes you want to go to the Cardinals facility and just slap some of the ownership and some of the uh, the staff around because this is just abysmal. You, you honestly can't be an organization, a billion dollar organization and treat people this way and expect them to perform for you. You can't expect a state to, which help fund the stadium and then not do, not reinvest in anything for the state or anything for the team to try and bring in a perennial winner which is what, as Cardinals fans, we are clamoring for. And I hope the new uh, the new head coach and the new GM shake things up. However, being a Cardinals fan, I'm not, I don't have my fingers crossed because no Cardinals head coach has lasted more than six years. So good luck. So let's get into this, and we'll break it down a little bit by each of the, uh, each of the categories that they did. So they were ranked 31st out of all 32 teams. They got, what is that, five Fs, and three of those Fs are F minuses, one A and two B pluses. So the first category is treatment of families. They were tied for 31st. Tied for 31st, really? The one of 14 teams that do not offer a family room. Come on. If you want to take care of your players and your team, you're going to take care of the families. You have to take care of the families. If you don't take care of the families, they're not going to take care of you. You're not going to get the family support that you need. And the one of the one of eleven teams that don't offer daycare. That's cool. Have a kid, but take care of them elsewhere. And the post-game gathering area is ranked thirtieth. That that's a brand new stadium. Well, almost brand new. It's a few years old now, but you didn't think of any of this to put it in there. Come on. Food service. F minus. Quality of food is ranked 32nd. How do you expect to, how do you expect your players to perform for, for you if you don't feed them well? And you have you make them pay for it. So if players would like dinner, it will be boxed up for them. But players reported that the team will charge you via payroll deduction. This is the only club in the NFL that does that. You charge your players, the people that you already pay a large amount of money to, you charge them to eat your food, and then you even give them good food? Come on. The weight room, F minus. Again, if you're not investing in your players or your team, what's the point of even having the organization? Sell the team. I would rather have an Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos buy the team and invest a ton of money in the facilities so that they can get top tier caliber players into the team that want to be there because they're going to show that they care about them. An F minus for the weight room. Players describe it as a health and safety as a health and safety risk to walk through the weight room. The flooring is nearly a unanimous complaint. The floors are uneven. The floorboards are peeling up. Come on. Now, I'm not sure that this. I don't think this is at the stadium. I think this is at the training facility. But a few years ago, uh, they just did, they released a video of them redoing the weight room, and it's already falling apart. Come on, you, you have to invest in your players. If you want your players to put out the best for you, give them the best facilities. You, again, you are a billion dollar organization. You have to invest. You're not gonna get anything out of your players or your team or your staff if you don't show them that you are willing to invest in them. I'm honestly surprised that we have the players that we have right now. I'm surprised that we got uh, JJ Watt, even though he just retired. I'm surprised that we got DeAndre Hopkins. However, I would not be surprised if D-Hop 
goes to another team because of just a better atmosphere. They do have, they think they have good uh, enough strength coaches. 73%, uh, but it's the lowest percentage in the league. Strength coaches, they got an A minus. However, they're tied for 17. So that's, that's middle of the pack. 88% of the players believe they receive an individual plan, which is 25th overall. So seven teams might have a worse training plan than they do. Again, invest in your staff, which will invest in your team. Come on. The training room, F minus. Hmm. Survey responses included several complaints of being outdated staffing. 67% of the players think they have enough ATC. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, second lowest in the league and 48% of the players think they have enough PTs. Or physical training, physical training staff, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, which is second lowest in the league. The steam room and sauna. There is a steam room. 80% feel it's big enough. There is a sauna. 65% feel it's big enough. Uh, tubs, hot tubs and cold, and cold tubs for the recovery and uh, relaxing. 63% uh, of the players feel they have enough cold spaces, enough cold tub space. But again, I don't understand why this organization is not willing and has not shown that they're willing to really invest in a facility and in staff to help draw the top tier players so that we can have a perennial winner, not just a once in a while playoff run. And I mean, we've only been to the Super Bowl once since the NFL has been, or since the, since it became the NFL, not the NFL and AFL merger. Training staff, B plus. Okay, so they do kind of respect the training staff. However, it's tied for 22nd. The locker room, F. Only 30% of the players feel like they have enough space. Complaint is that it's old and needs renovation. So I remember when Edrin, Edrin James came to the team. Uh, it was kind of a big to-do because he brought in, uh, I think, a, a flat screen TV and mounted it next to his locker. Um, and everybody's like, oh, it's Edrin James. He can do whatever he wants. But I mean, he was updating the locker room. And I wouldn't doubt if that TV is still there and it's busted just because of the way everything is going with the Cardinals organization. And it's ranked 31st. So there's one team worse than them. I don't know who that would be because I'm not going through all the report cards. I'm just going through my team because it's the only team I really care about. However, the Cardinals are making it really hard to be a, to continue to be a fan. Team travel, they got a B plus. Uh, only forty eight percent of players feel like they have enough room to spread out. Uh, and I think they got a, they used to have a large plane that had lay down seats. Uh, the club just switched to a smaller plane. Doesn't say what kind of plane it is, which limited the number of lay down seats. So many players have worse seats and less space now. But they got a B plus. That's interesting. So. That's, that's all the grades. Um, I, being a Cardinals fan is, is so hard. I used to call them the lovable losers, just like the Red Sox were called the lovable losers. But now we're just losers. You cannot be an organization, again, a billion dollar organization, and not invest in your players, not invest in your staff, not invest in your facilities. And I'm not talking just, a, here's a couple bucks, here's a couple bucks. I mean, you have to heavily invest. If you are that hard up on money that you have to charge your players for their food, you need to really think about selling the organization to somebody that is gonna treat them right and bring in a perennial winner for the state of Arizona. You have to do that. Come on, Bidwell, I'm begging you to really invest in the money or really invest your money into this team. The Cardinals fans of Arizona and around the country, because I don't live in Arizona anymore, are begging you to bring in a winner. Invest in the coaches, invest in the staff, and invest in the players. Don't let the good players leave. Give them a lot of money and bring in top talent and give them the money that they deserve. But you have to show something that you're willing to invest in this team. I'm Ben. Thank you for watching.